Families facing homelessness is a big problem across the triad and in Davidson County that is only getting worse. But a new shelter is hoping to ease some of the burden. ABC 45's Casey Zanowick has more on those plans and what that is doing to help. Here in Davidson County, the number of families looking for a bed is high and the number of beds available is low. But a new project from a local nonprofit has just had its first phase approved by the county, meaning the efforts to get those families off the streets are just getting started. This empty plot of land on Robbins Avenue will soon be a new place for the unhoused to go. It's something Ashley Phillips with Davidson County First Hope Ministry says has been their dream for a while. The building has been on uh, 107 East 1st Avenue for 30 plus years, so we need a new facility that can accommodate about 32% more folks. The new shelter is a three-phase project, with the first just being approved by the City of Lexington. The first phase will be the family shelter. So right now we're seeing more families. We have right now 10 to 15 families on a waiting list. Their current space can house seven families. The new shelter will have enough room for 16. We are getting referrals from social workers at schools, Department of Social Services. Um, so just trying to meet that need so we can get these families with children off the street. And it's not just families they're hoping to help. Phase two of the project will be the adult homeless shelter, which will include room for up to 84 men and 24 women. Our staff and other agencies will be able to come in and work with individuals as sort of like a one-stop shop, being able to provide and link these residents to resources within our community to get them hopefully out of the homeless situation. And phase three will be the administrative buildings, which will connect residents to resources in the community. Having everybody underneath one building will make it a lot easier to link them to uh, mental health services, health care, whatever it may be. In total, the project will cost around $4.5 million, and the organization needs the public's help to make it all happen. We definitely need our community support, church support, individual support, business support. We will take any type of donation to make this project um, happen. Now, phase one of the project will cost around $1 million and has almost been fully funded. Once those funds are in, they will start fundraising for phase two. If you'd like to donate, you can look for this story on ABC45.com. In Davidson County, I'm Casey Zanowick, ABC45 News, standing up for you.